हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सीमा सिंह योर एस एस सी टीचर स्टूडेंट्स वी विल स्टार्ट अवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इन जोग्राफी मैप्स अवर बेस्ट गाइड्स स्टूडेंट्स यू सीन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मैप बोथ ग्लोब्स एंड मैप्स आर सिग्निफिकेंट टू अस टू लोकेट द वेरियस प्लेसेस बट द टू परफॉर्म डिफरेंट फंक्शन ग्लोब a globe is a true representation of our earth it is drawn on a small scale but there are some limitations in using globe such as it is difficult to carry a globe everywhere due to limited space it is difficult to give many details over a globe we cannot show part of earth on a globe maps when we want to show only a part of earth or just give details about only one continent or a country then we need simple and easy technique we use map a map is a representation of the earth surface as a whole or a part of it on a plane surface drawn to some specific scale students since the earliest civilization we have been using map the first map was perhaps made by the baby lonians in 2300 bc on clay tablet the first map of the world was prepared by anaxim and 1611 to 541 bc a greek philosopher types of maps various kinds of maps are useful to us for various purpose when many maps are put together it is called an atlas map provide more information than a globe and they may be classified on a different basis according to scale or functions according to scale maps are of two types small scale map and large scale map number 1 small scale map when large area like continents or countries with less detail are to be shown on paper than it is known as small scale map large scale map when a small area like a village or town is to be shown in detail on paper then we use large scale map according to function according to function maps are the following types number 1 physical map maps showing natural features of the earth like mountains plateaus plains rivers oceans etc are called physical or relief maps number 2 political map these maps show the boundaries of countries and of the state within the country they also show the locations of cities and towns thematic map we can show some specific information with the help of thematic maps for example road maps rainfall maps maps showing distribution of forest industries mines etc components of map there are three main components of map distance direction and conventional sign or symbol number 1 distance you have seen the map of the different continents in atlas even the whole world on a small sheet of paper maps are drawing which reduce the entire world or a part of it on a sheet of paper or we can say maps are drawn to reduce scales but this reduction is done very carefully so that the distance between different places remaining accurate therefore a scale is chosen for this purpose scale is the ratio between the actual distance on the ground and the distance shown on the map the scale is generally drawn at the top or bottom of a map sometimes the scale is not drawn it is given is word for example 1 cm it means 100 km this means that i can i that 1 cm on the map represent 100 km on the ground representative 
fraction. This is another method of showing scale on map. In this method, the ratio between the map distance and the ground distance is given a function whose numerator is always 1, direction. When we study a map, we notice an arrow marked with the letter N at the upper right hand corner. This arrow shows the north direction. It is called the north line. East, west and south which are the four major directions. These are known as cardinal points. Once we find the four directions, is it easy to find the other four intermetric directions, namely northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest? We can locate any place more accu accurately with the help of these intermediate directions. How can to find directions? We can find our direction by facing the rising sun with the help of pole star or with the help of compass. Number one, usually a magnetic compass is used to find the direction. Number two, we all know that the sun rises in the east and set in the west. If we stand facing the sun in the morning, it is mean we are facing towards the earth, east and the west is toward our back. Number third, similarly on a cloudless night, the pole star can show the north direction. And then the other main direction can be found out. Conventional symbols. Maps are used to show a variety of information such as population, physical features, natural vegetation, roads, buildings, wells, boundaries, resources, human settlement, etc. Map have a universal language that can be understood by all. There is an international agreement regarding the use of these symbols. These are called conventional symbols. Various colors are used for the same purpose. For example, generally blue is used for showing water bodies, brown for mountain, yellow for plateau and green for plain. The information show on a map which includes features like scale, directions, colors, sign and symbol can only be read and understood by two, those who know its language. Sketch We draw a map only according to scale but sometimes we need a rough drawing of a place to find out its location which is mainly based on memory and spot observation and not to scale such. A rough drawing of a plane is known as a sketch. Plane. A map gives us detailed information about the location of school, hospitals, road, park, etc. But even the most detailed map cannot give us information about the internal design or layout of any building. Thus, we require a detailed drawing according to scale which is known as plane. So, a plane is drawing of a small area on a large scale. Generally, a map represents a large area. So, it is drawn on a map small scale like 1 cm representing 100 km. On the other hand, a plane represents a very small area and it's therefore drawn on a large scale where one centimeter on a plane may represent just one meter from the ground. Okay, thank you students. We will meet again our